Earlier in the show, we started putting a product to the test that claims to erase brown spots almost instantly. Let's check back in with Dr. Batra and her patient in the procedure room to see how things went. So, Dr. Batra, you're with Sunny. How did it go? So, we used the Clearista pen to treat these benign little overgrowths of the skin called seborrheic keratoses. And I think it went well. How, how did you feel about it, I Sunny? I feel very good about it. You know, and I think it's important to mention that, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we weren't trying to erase the freckles. You know, those, that, that wasn't what this was. Can we, can we see the before picture? Oh, wow. Yes. But it's remarkable, when you even started the procedure, Dr. Botcher, it's almost as though we can see the brown spots disappearing before our very eyes. How, how is this product able to do that or claim to be able to do that? So it actually has two ingredients that break apart the keratin bonds and the protein. This is really meant for these overgrowths, just like you're seeing in the animation there. I don't think it would work on freckles or brown spots because they're pigment, but these ingredients are actually breaking apart the keratin bonds. And then the firm tip of the pen uses that solution. It just sort of lifts up and takes the spot off. So that's what you were seeing was me actually scraping, using the solution to soften it and break it apart to actually take the brown spots off right then and there. Mm. So it's more than just just a pen. Yeah. yeah. How, around how many actinic keratosis growths can you do with one pen? You can treat six to eight with one pen, wow. and it costs about two to three hundred dollars. A really Affordable. important point is that you could see how people would say, oh, it's just a pen, let me just, you know, just, I see a spot, let me take it off. But having a board certified dermatologist there, you know, who really can tell, you know what, that's not a good candidate for this. This might be a precancerous or cancerous lesion is so important because obviously you don't treat early skin cancers or precancerous lesions with this device. Anything that can be done to prevent these types of brown spots, Dr. Batra? You know, interestingly, the, the bane of many of my patients' existence, including Sunny, is that you really can't prevent them. If you're genetically predisposed to them, they affect people who are fair, they affect pigmented people like me and much darker. They're sort of a universal, just harmless but annoying genetic overgrowth. And I love that we wow. showed that one picture where the individual had so many on their face. I think especially yeah. for the visible areas, the neck and the face. Because obviously, if it, look, if it's somewhere on your abdomen or somewhere where people sure. don't see it, no big deal. But it's really, what a great product for those areas of your skin that are always yeah. exposed. And it's um, affordable. Yeah. Well, which, all is, things, which is new. Yeah. All things considered, <laughs> we've shared a lot of products and procedures that are it's like 300. It's like, oh, 3,000. So, right, this, you know, right. this is much more reasonable. Dr. Bodger, thank you for sharing Thanks. this with yeah. us. We're, we're happy that you're happy with the result. Let's see what's coming up next.